Hey guys, Brutal Bio coming back to you with another video today. We're going to talk about the CWL New Orleans Open Pool Play predictions. It's going to be one of the most inter one of the interesting tournaments because we're coming up on the league. And the teams are going to start needing to perform the ones that are on the cusp, and you're going to start seeing the teams that are going to be close to making it. So in Pool A, we have Team Caliber, FaZe Clan, Union Lad, and Mind Freak. Pool B, Opti Gaming, Envious, Vitality, and Epsilon. Pool C, LG, Luminosity, whatever you want to call them, Red Reserve, Rise Nation, and Enigma 6. Pool D, Splice, E United, Echo Fox, and Ground Zero. So we have some pretty interesting pools to the open bracket teams last time. That came in and shake, and shake the... Yeah, yeah, just shaked everything up. T teams, I'm surprised it didn't make it into pools. Gonna have to grind through open bracket. Uh, are EG X, Nameless, Enable, and Apathy, Ghost Gaming, Space D, Mox, and they feel Lama God, and Goonjar Royalty, Proto, and Exotic on uh, Lightning Pandas. But we're going to have some pretty interesting stuff. Because those teams are all on the cusp. And you have some pretty high skilled open bracket teams. And then in Europe. Infused. Lolson, Nile, Defrag, and Zerg. And then Giants, Toho, Yako, Legend, and Brain. And Millennium. Marky B, PD, Gunshi, and Urban. Are some of the teams that can come shake stuff up. up you know, over open bracket. Well, let's get into the pools and stop talking about the open bracket teams. Because that's what we're here to talk about. Open bracket teams can come shake stuff up. Just going to tell you something for all these pools. These predictions are based off if any of these open bracket teams that I'm thinking make it. And don't, just don't come shake stuff up and just create some wild scenarios. Like at CWO Dallas. So in pool A, Team Caliber is going to place first. They're the team I think right now in the stands where... How World War Two works the best, and they and they've been on a pretty decent streak, and I think they're gonna be up there in the top three in this event. And then Phase Clan, I think they're gonna make it over the other teams because on land they're not an online team in this COD, but they're an on land late team. So they're gonna come out and just perform on land, and they're gonna win. And then Mind Freak, they took out some pretty tough teams at the pool play on yeah, on bra on their losers bracket run at Dallas. So I think they're gonna come out. They're gonna come out and take out Union Lad. And on the cusp, and Mind Freak, they're pretty they're pretty much they got they got the APAC spot secured for the league, but. I think they can take, they can create some upsets for this pool if they played the way they did at Dallas and loses bracket because they did in Dallas they did take out Evil Geniuses pretty tough roster, but you know that I don't think they have what it takes. I think the pool at Dallas. Ah, oh, that that's a uh, they got a pretty close pool. They got a, they didn't get the best pulls. Let's see, they got They got Optic Gaming and MVS and E6, but I don't think they're just gonna have what it takes because they did bomb out, they bombed out in bracket play. And then pool B, Optic Gaming's gonna pump me sweep sweep that pool. But by how quick? <coughs> it's gonna be a real, <coughs> real thing of how quick they sweep. Just because they're searched, they respawn, everything's really looked shaky as a. Everything's looked really shaky. For Optic in this game, they, they haven't really looked good. They just looked really shaky. And then Envious. 
they're going to finish second because the other teams guarantee me they're probably going to take them out. The match that's going to decide the pool is Optic Gaming versus Envious when they play. So you're going to decide who finishes first and second. And then Epsilon, they're going to take out Vitality. I think they have a, a lot more than what it takes. And then, just Vitality, even though they're higher in the standings and pro points, on them, you're going to see really different teams come out and play. And then Pussy, out of the Velocity. I just think, in their pool, even though it's one of the tougher pools, I think they're a lot hot. The other three teams in their pool are really close in skill. And then, the other teams are just really close in skill. And I think just LG, the overall roster, they're going to come out and perform. And then, Pool, and then E6, I think E6 is going to come out and get this, because they have General, Dashy, Sensor, and Blastful. I think that's that roster. It's going to come out and perform with Sensor's leadership. And then, Rise Nation, you know they're not exactly on the they're close to being on the cusp I just don't think they have what it takes to compete with the other rosters they, just because they won the 2k on they won a 2k online they took out off the gaming in the quarterfinals I just don't think uh, now card doesn't online card doesn't transfer to land and then rise nation uh, then red you know, Red has a pretty tough roster. Zero, Joe, Rated, and Josh. Pretty tough European-based roster. I just don't think they're going to have what it takes to compete with the other teams. And then Pool D, Splice, United, Ground Zero, and Echo Fox. I think Splice is going to win that there. Just because Splice, they're pretty far ahead, and they, I think they're going to win the title. They're going to win a title this year. One, They're going to win a few, I think. And then United, they still... I think they haven't made a transit. They're still transitioning. They're going to need a little bit more. I think as the year goes on, they're going to be a really tough roster. But right now... I see I'm taking it over Splice then. Pool D. Oh yeah, then Ground Zero comes out and gets it. Because they're on the cusp as well. But I don't think... Compete to other teams, they're facing a lot tougher teams than... They should be. And then Echo Fox. Just because they had a loser's bracket run. I don't think they're going to ultimately come out and do what they're... Just come out and perform. That's ultimately a thing I think they're gonna, that's going to happen to them. They're just going to run into... Those other teams I think are not... Have a lot... Higher, they're not more talented than Echo Fox at this point. What the open bracket should be a really interesting grind for some of the North American teams. A lot of these other teams in North America now that it's boots on the ground, I think it's gonna be a lot closer skill gap just because you're an open bracket team, it's gonna be a lot different. But it should be an interesting because this is the man leading up to the global pro league, and teams are gonna have to the ones on the cusp are gonna have to come out and perform. I think optic, the way that they perform, coached by TP, they're gonna ultimately it's gonna come out. It's gonna be ultimately. 
Just the way Optic shows up in pools. If they three one teams that the teams M Epsilon and Vitality, if they three one them or th take oh five games, it's gonna be that's gonna be ultimately the way I think they place. The same as last time. I think they place top four if they play like they did a Dallas, but if they come out and three oh all the teams in their group. Maybe just a three one to envious. But they come out and perform. I think they're gonna. They're gonna be the team to look out for at this event. And. Spot the other teams. It's all ultimately how teams look in pools, I feel like. And who would they get matched in the bracket? And then, that's gonna it. CW that should be interesting, but, so guys, I'm signing out. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk about CWO, New Orleans, pool play predictions, the pool play, and just, uh, what I predict the top, the standings are gonna be. I'm signing out. As always, if you enjoyed, just leave a subscription. That helps a lot. Based with the video, to continue making videos, and then, I'm signing out. Until next time, guys. I'm signing out. Hope you enjoyed.